Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So we are in the middle of a uh, storm here in Northern California. Not not a hurricane or anything like that, but kind of feels like one for, for our standards. Um, we actually tore up tore up the yard last night with the winds we were having and uh, fortunately my my orange tree has uh, has stayed stayed strong but some of the other trees nearby have not done so uh, actually one actually broke in half and fell on uh, one of my neighbors houses so um, but I kind of wanted to just do a quick uh, mental health check here uh, Hopefully, hopefully uh, the wind won't uh, disturb my my voice too much here. Otherwise, this would be kind of a waste of time. But uh, you know, I'd kind of mentioned in the past uh, um, my my experience with depression, and I've actually been kind of recently inspired by a fellow YouTuber that I uh, kind of randomly came across a couple weeks ago. He showed up in my recommended feed. And he's a he's a fellow uh, YouTube channel by the name of uh, Grover Built 28. His name is Bill. Uh, hopefully he doesn't mind me giving him a little plug here. Um, he he often says in his videos that uh, if he just reaches one person and helps one person in their struggles with depression, then it will make it worth it for him. So he did reach me, and it has been kind of uh, encouraging and inspiring to kind of watch his videos because you do realize that you're not alone and uh, people are going through similar things and so it kind of inspired me to jump back on here to share a little bit more uh, about my story I am NOT gonna share too much today because it is cold out here uh, and I don't want to want to put everyone to sleep all at once but uh, I figured I would just kind of do a little brief rundown on some of my experience with depression and again a lot of what Bill said in his videos really resonated with me um, in terms of the experience and, and uh, trying different medications and how it affects you and, and those sorts of things so I felt kind of inspired to share my experience on that um, when my depression really came to a head was about three years ago uh, I had surgery for a hernia. It was actually my second surgery, or second hernia that I had. I had another one about 10 years prior to that. And uh, for the recovery, after the surgery, I was prescribed Norco. And uh, suffice it to say, that stuff messed me up. Got me feeling really high and really good. And I, I recognized through taking that medication that I was feeling good because of the medication and I realized how depressed I actually was because of how much better I was feeling and I should backtrack a little bit and say that the depression was welling up in me over the years and I was in extreme denial of it for a very long time because I just didn't want to accept that that was something that was a, a truth about me and as much as I never have or would ever judge somebody who is struggling with that I kinda did judge myself for it and thought that you know well that would just be like a weakness for me to say that that was the case but obviously that's not the way it is and uh, it really became apparent to me when I felt as good as I did taking that Norco because I thought, wow, this is this is what it feels like to just feel like a regular person. And so what ended up happening was I crashed really, really hard when I stopped taking that medication. And I think it was a a combination of probably a probably a certain level of dependency that I might have out, had developed for that medication. But also it was just generally feeling like shitty because I was going back to feeling shitty all the time. And the good feelings from the medication were going away. And all those things compiled together uh, just caused me to crash really, really hard. Really bad. And it was, it was awful. Uh, I, I had never felt as close to being suicidal as I did during that time. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say that I was suicidal, but I got to the point where I understood how people can feel suicidal 
and uh, I did not feel that it was sustainable. I thought that I wouldn't survive if I didn't do something. And I think having kids helped a lot with that too because I obviously I want to be there for my kids and I want to be able to enjoy having kids and, and being with them and that was another thing that was missing. I didn't feel like I was appreciating or enjoying the time with my kids. So it's not a good situation all around. So I, uh, I kind of forced myself to, to get help from that point and uh, started taking uh, Wellbutin. So um, again, to backtrack a little bit, I, I had previously been on Lexapro years before and this is something that Bill talks about a lot in his videos is his journey with, with taking Lexapro. And uh, hopefully he doesn't mind me kind of, kind of giving this this plug for him. But again, uh, it's it's one of those things where it you know makes you feel better to know that you're not alone. And uh, anyway, I had found that while Lexapro did help to a certain extent, I, I had certain side effects that uh, were not working for me, and it became just not worth it for me at the time. And then also at the time, it was more. Um, the Lexapro was more for anxiety than depression and it wasn't as bad as it became later so I, I gave up on it for the time being but anyway uh, flash forward to 2018 when this uh, surgery happened and uh, talked to my doctor and we decided to, to try out Wellbutrin and I, I, it was a godsend you know I can't say anything <laughs> anything else really um, it really was a game changer for me. Uh, of course, uh, it, it's it's not a you know magic on-off switch or anything like that where you start taking the pill and everything's better. You still have to manage it. It it, it becomes basically just a tool to help you manage it. The depressive symptoms and episodes can still happen, but you kind of you you kind of learn uh, or or relearn uh, how to manage them. And uh, I'll, I'll I'll put uh, in my recommended videos I'll put a link to the other video where I talk about my three three coping tools that I used. Um, these were tools that I, I really became uh, experienced and, and uh, more well equipped to do after I started taking the Wellbutrin. So uh, and and ever since then things have been a lot better. I, I definitely still struggle with the depression at times, and I have episodes where it's worse than others but um, I think having that Wellbutrin and then it, it, it goes in line with therapy um, those two things working efficiently together can really help and when those times do come up uh, at least you you know that there is a, an out and that there's hope and that uh, it's not a, a permanent state and that's part of where you know when you fully fall into that hole of depression it becomes very bleak and very lonely and very hopeless and so that's kind of the um, that's kind of the long and short of it I, I will continue this conversation probably working backwards a little bit uh, with the with the kind of advent of depression and how it's gotten to where it is and how it got to that point that it was when I had the surgery um, I think I was kind of inspired to come out and talk about it just because of the weather I mean uh, I actually I'm, I know some people are kind of uh, feel depressed when the weather is gloomy like this, but I'm actually kind of the opposite. I've always felt, I've always loved rain. I've always considered rain kind of a healing, uh, uh, fresh, you know, washing, washing away uh, whatever whatever troubles you're dealing with, and it's kind of a fresh, clean, healthy, good feeling, I guess. So I've always liked it, but it is. Uh, pretty cold right now uh, fortunately the wind has died down enough to where I, I, I think I can be heard and uh, not too obnoxious or anything like that but um, yeah that was kind of just all I wanted to share uh, to kind of echo Bill's message if uh, if my words can help anybody else feel like they're not alone that somebody else is going through it as well then that makes it worth it for me too and, uh, you know, as I say before, I just like to remind people that, that, that um, others are going through something like what you're going through. You know, you're not the only one. And uh, I, I'm always willing to talk if people need an, an ear. Sometimes it's just 
just having somebody to listen can make all the difference. So just let me know uh, in the comments, or you can also email me um, the Tenth Man Podcast, the Tenth Man Podcast at Gmail dot com. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to that as well. But anyway, um, I'll be I'll be talk to y'all again soon. Um, probably have a more well planned uh, story next time uh, for the depression subject. But uh, I just wanted to check in with you guys and I hope that you all are staying safe during these uh, crazy times. And I'm going to go inside uh, before I freeze. And uh, we'll talk to y'all again really soon. Thanks a lot for checking in on me. Have a great rest of your day. There's those oranges. <laughs> and remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.